today on Florida Sport Fishing. There's the whole school oh, right here. School the whole school is right behind Covered up right now, baby. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. <laughs> Whee! There's a lot of them, dude. There's a lot of them there. There's some bigger ones in there, man. Is there? you has got one on, Carlos has one on, I've got one on. Awesome. Oh, what on? CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sail fish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. <laughs> Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Fortress, the world's best anchor. Stronger, faster, lighter. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. And Stingray Tackle, shop where the pros shop. Shop at StingrayTackle.com. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We're out here doing a little bit of dolphin fishing, working our way offshore, trying to dodge some of these storms. Just broke about, I don't know, we're about 12 to 14 off. Came across some birds working. There's, there's the whole school oh, right whole school here. The whole school's right we're behind We're covered up right now, baby. Throw the top water, dude. Oh, there you go on the top water, baby. Nice, nice. Just take your time, dude. That's the way to catch them right there. There's some bigger ones in there, man. Is there? Oh, yeah. When they're this size, they're just voracious, man. As soon as you cast it out, boom, they're on it. Just like that. Ha! When you're covered up in schoolies, this is the time to whip out the light tackle. We're going to take a little top order plug here, see if we can catch one on top order. I mean, how much fun is this going to be? Just kind of whip it out there right across the surface make it look like a wounded bait oh there he is there he is, there he is. <laughs> Whee! gene's got one on carlos has one on i've got one on you know dolphin grow so fast they'll literally potentially reach 20 pounds in their first year come on pal catching dolphin on my redfish rod you can see we're keeping a few more on here just to keep them interested, to keep the activity going on around the boat. Rapala topwater plug, which looks like a little pilchard or a mullet, it's just any kind of bait fish. Covered up in schoolies right here, all around the boat. Little two to five pound dolphin. I'm gonna take this topwater, chuck it out there. Not far, right next to the boat. Oh, there. right there, baby, right next to the boat. Little schoolie came up and just crushed that top water plug. We'll see you later, little guy. Here they come. See him? Oh, yeah. They love squid. Absolutely love squid. Just throw a couple chunks in. Look at them. Sucking it up like spaghetti, baby. That's, that's right. Here, watch this. Look, 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 look. Oh. When does that happen? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> when does that happen, baby? Hand feeding a dolphin. This might be a keeper size one. Typical summertime fish. You get them all, you know, heated up and you get them, but then they start to lose interest. And that's when sometimes you need to whip out some live baits. Or work some lures. Or work some lures, yeah. something with more right. action. Keep liveliness. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's a decent one. That's yeah, a keeper yeah. size. Look at that, look at the colors on that fish. Is that absolutely incredible? You just throw a little piece of squid on here. You know, keep your hook exposed. We'll throw a little goodie to them, attract them to the boat. Then we'll just throw it out there, open your bail and let it drift back. Before you know it, you'll be on some dolphin. This is just wonderful. When they're all lit up around the boat, nice school of them. They seem to have swam away here for a moment. Let's try the other side of the boat. Let them eat it a little bit, close the bale, and bingo! Right away, dude? Yep. Look at them, wow. Okay, don't get tangled up here, boys. I just love this. This is my favorite thing in the whole world to do. 
And when you see them lit up here around a boat like this, it's just incredible. These fish grow so fast. A couple of months ago, these fish were barely big enough to see. They're just eating machines and they grow like crazy. You know, I can remember the first time I ever went dolphin fishing with a friend of my dad's. I was probably 17 or 18 years old. And we got a bite and it was a nice big dolphin, probably 30 or 40 pounds. And we got him up close to the boat. And I'm yelling, get the gaff, get the gaff. And my dad goes, I don't need no stinking gaff. And he grabs the line, not the leader. And dink, I've been in search of big dolphin ever since. My favorite fish to catch by, by far. And they're good eating, they're so pretty. And I think I'm hooked up. Let's reel up, there he is. Ah, yeah baby, jump. There we go. Nice job, Gene, nice job. Oh! What are you using? One of these little live target, um, Peltred design. Pilchard or Peltreds? Peltreds, Peltreds, man. Everybody could say Pilchard. I saw you on TV the other day, dude, when you said Peltreds, and I was like, what's a Peltreds? It's a little bait fish that gets pelted. I always thought they were called Pilchards. Up, oh, right away, <laughs> baby, right away! <laughs> Look at that. I got him in the chinny chin chin. <laughs> there we Just go. like that. Just yeah. like that. Pull it back out. You can see it's firmly in place. So nice and streamlined, doesn't affect your swimming. Let's real slowly put her back in. And there she goes. That is so rewarding. What a great experience. Awesome. Sweet. Mercury engine tap. Speed and acceleration you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Chuck Rollins here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Bubba Blade 9 inch tapered flex. The reason I think this is the perfect blade for these smaller fish like your panfish, your, your white bass, your crappie, is that it's got a lot of flex. You still got that perfect handle. It's got the nice thumb piece. It's got the little trigger right here. So when your hands are wet, you don't have to worry about that blade sliding out of your hand. It is super sharp right out of the box. And that's why I think this is the ideal blade. Introducing Sea Deck, a shock absorbent non-skid material manufactured from UV protected foam specifically formulated for marine applications. Sea Deck's comfortable and durable surface protects your deck reduces noise, and improves the look and value of any boat. Available in a range of colors, Sea Deck is fully customizable and easy to apply with a marine grade peel and stick adhesive. Visit SeaDeck.com for a complete line of retail products. Surprisingly affordable, incredibly versatile. Mercury engine tap. Corrosion protection you can rely on. It's good to have mercury behind you. Oh, there's one. Yeah, he's on, he's on, he's chasing it, he's chasing it, you got him. You got oh. him. oh! That was a good fish, too. Where'd he go? That was a no. good fish. That one that was over here is pretty good. Another scoop right under this big mat right here. There's all the dolphin, there they are right there, dude. There's a lot of life under there. There's a big one out there. Oh, dude, I just, there, I got him. I got him, that's a good fish him? too, yeah. There you go. There was two of them chasing it. There's a whole aquarium down there, dude. Nice, double header, boys, doubled up on schoolies. Mike, throw that thing right here, dude. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, right here, that's right here. a nice one, Yeah, dude. come over here, come that's over nice here. One, He's coming right out the boat, pitch, pitch in front. I oh, know, that's his. No, that's not it. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> You're like, that's a nice one. Yeah, there's another nice one right there, swimming yeah. around. Oh, Mike, Mike, yeah, Mike, dude, Mike, 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 Mike. I see him. Mike, 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 Mike. You know what day it is? It is hump day. It is hump day. Hump, 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 hump. Oh, on 
the shrimp! Oh, on the shrimp! On the real life shrimp! Whoa! Demolished! With ice, dude! <laughs> How was that? Well, that's what they're eating off the grass, right. you know what I mean? Those little grass shrimps. So I'm like, hey man, what better to, you know, mimic than the bait that they're eating? I'll tell you what, these summertime fish, these schoolies, best way to catch these guys is just on light spinning gear. Dude, how awesome is that? That's awesome. Light tackle dolphin fishing. Look how beautiful that water is. Look at them shaking. Nice, dude, we came up on that patch. What, what were you throwing at? Little? Live target, little scaled sardine. And I'm throwing that yeah. little shrimp. Yeah. Look at that, a little cow, little seven or eight pound cow, and it looks like you got the bull. Yeah. That's There's a couple a family. right there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. we put an end to that family. But hey, that's summertime dolphin fishing right there, baby. That's what it's yes, all sir. about. That works. It's bloody, it's gory, it's delicious. It's tasty. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hi, and welcome to this episode's Pro's Tip. I'm Captain Mike. Imagine with me for a moment. You're heading offshore dolphin fishing, way out in the distance. You see a well-formed weed line. Your luck's about to change. However, have you ever stopped to wonder exactly what sargasm weed is, where it originates, and how does it really affect our overall fisheries? Weed lines represent the most biologically diverse offshore ecosystems on Earth, yet we know very little about sargasm and the role this golden gift plays in the health of our offshore environment. There are at least six species of sargasm, which is actually algae, but only two make up the floating mats and patches that we encounter. The source of sargasm weed is the Sargasso Sea, a two million square mile chunk of water in the middle of the North Atlantic. The Sargasso Sea is bordered by the Gulf Stream, the Canary Current, and the North Equatorial Current. Prevailing winds and spiraling eddies disperse the floating algae throughout the world's oceans. Pieces float for years and reproduce many times. Eventually, sargasm loses its vibrancy and gets weighed down from the myriad of animals and invertebrates clinging to its aging fronds. Water pressure ultimately collapses the tiny gas bladders, keeping it afloat, and seals the weed's fate. Shake a handful of healthy sargasm and you'll be amazed by the tiny shrimp, crabs, and squid and the many juvenile fish that rely on the vegetation. Many of these animals have evolved to match the same weed they rely so heavily on. While sargasm provides refuge for baby turtles, the baby bluefin tuna, well-formed weed lines may also provide a landmark that game fish return to throughout the day to gather and feed. Really, there is no other habitat like it in the world. Sargasm weed provides shelter from predation while harboring a constant supply of prey. Remember one time I was trolling along down towards Miami and we weren't getting a bite for a while. And we switched to the station on the radio. And some like, oh, some like little dolphin disco song came on and both of the rods got whacked. And each fish was 30, 30 plus pounds. Whoa, did you see that? That was gnarly. But I don't know, I, I, I'm becoming a, a believer in that. When you're trolling along, sometimes the, the music in, influence might, might do something. Call it the dolphin disco. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. So, you're looking for a place to go on vacation, where the water is warm and the nights are hot. A place to remember, a place to get lost, or blend in with the crowd. A place that defines your individuality. A place to test your skill at something new. A place that feels like home away from home. Visit Jacksonville, Florida. Tired of empty coolers? Book an overnight trip aboard the 100-foot Yankee Captains to the world-famous Dry Tortugas and catch trophy snapper, grouper, king mackerel, and more. 
Fishing these rich waters for 25 years, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or relax on the spacious upper deck. With full galley and huge fish boxes, the only thing you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West, Florida, year-round. Want more power and increased towing capacity? California Customs goes beyond the hitch. Let us transform your truck into the ultimate tow vehicle. Two and four wheel drive, California Customs does it all. Towing accessories and load control systems, lift and leveling kits, custom wheels and tires, performance upgrades, toolboxes and bed covers, plus all of your audio, lighting and security needs. California Customs, let us make your vehicle what you really wanted all along. Just got on another pack of them here, guys. Trolling along, stumbled across a log. You can just see it barely floating, just breaking the surface. And that's why it's so important to get that visual aspect from up on that hardtop. And again, with this size fish, whip out the light stuff, whip out the spinning gear. I'm gonna catch a couple on top water plug here, which is just absolutely awesome. You don't have to throw it very far. I like to throw it close. I like to watch them come up and whack it. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You see, I'm just working it across the surface like a wounded bait. And once get, one gets focused on it, again, it's that visual aspect that makes it so exciting. Oh, 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 oh. Here he is. I see him chasing it. Oh, oh, he got, oh, no, he missed it. Got him, finally. Yes, you did, dude. Yeah, it's a good one. I hope you get that one in. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Little bull. There you go, I'm gonna get you unhooked. Go catch another one. Little summertime dolphin. Not huge, but this one's certainly big enough to go in a box, a couple of sandwiches. Wow, look at this. I got him on the lure. Yeah, buddy. All right. Look at all the bait around that piece of wood. That's awesome. It's crazy how it's sitting too, vertical in the water. Yeah. That's cool, man. Oh, I got him chasing it. I got him. There we go. Look at that. Look at his fin. Wow. Floating debris. Ton of bait. <laughs> Dolphin right there with him. There's got to be a thousand little baits there. But debris, I mean, unfortunately, it's garbage, but it also brings life, too. So there's some nice fish down there. This one's a keeper. I'm putting on a piece of dolphin. A little chunk of dolphin left over from cleaning fish the last time. And these belly portions of the dolphin make great little chunk baits. Cut them up in little pieces and you know as we all know dolphin eat dolphin. Let's see if we can get them to eat this right here by this floating board here. Yep, I'm tight. Nice. Get that one on bait. Got that one on a chunk of dolphin. A little schooly. A dolphin chunk. You know life attracts life. I mean that is just incredible. Look at that. This is just so cool. Dude, the colors on these things are incredible. You know, sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're green, sometimes they're gold. And they could even turn black. You know, I've seen them where they've got those dark black bars. But what's really awesome, sometimes, you know, they use that gold to blend in with the sargasm weed, with the grass. And they literally blend right in with that grass and pick off crabs and little juvenile fish and shrimp right in the grass. But I mean, just a perfect predator. Little schoolie. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Okay, so here we are. We're back at the dock after a day of dolphin fishing, and I want to show you what we were doing out there today. We were pulling rigged ballyhoo. And there's numerous ways that you can rig ballyhoo. You can buy them already rigged, but you'll save a ton of money if you buy them unrigged and rig them yourself. I've got a simple method that I've been using for years and it's been very successful for me. And I'm gonna show you how to do it here. First of all, you need about a six foot length of 80 pound mono. Today we're using diamond presentation fluorocarbon. And I need about a, a piece of 10, 12 inches of copper rigging wire. You're gonna wrap it around the shank of the hook a couple of times and then come back out the top of the hook so that it looks like that. And that's important that it comes out this top side. And I'll show you why here in just a second. You're ready to take your ballyhoo and there's a couple of things that you need to do with your ballyhoo before you start rigging it. You need to break its back in a couple of places. That way the bait is gonna have some swimming action as it's being pulled behind the boat. 
Okay, and then the second thing you want to do is you need to remove the entrails from the bait. And the reason for this is the entrails inside actually have enzymes that are going to eat away at the bait from the inside out. Consequently, your bait's going to wash out faster than it normally would. So now you're ready to start rigging. You're going to take your hook and you're going to insert it just inside the gill plate of the ballyhoo. And you're going to gently work the, the hook point down into the ballyhoo and then start pushing your ballyhoo gently up over the shank of the hook. And then you're going to see your point and you're going to just go ahead and push your point right through the ballyhoo there and then continue to push your hook on down into that cavity behind the gills there, okay? Then you're gonna take your copper rigging wire and come behind that gill plate there just like that. Make sure your hook is straight. Then you're gonna come around on the other side, come behind that gill plate. And that's really where your bait is being pulled from. You don't want the bait actually being pulled by the hook because that's gonna make your bait spin. You want the wire to be doing the work for you. Insert the wire in through the eye, come around and snug that up. Then come around once in front of the eye and then take your copper wire and come up through the bottom jaw and you're going to insert and pierce this upper lip with your copper wire. And once you come through that lip, snug that down and that's going to keep that mouth closed and no water is going to get in there and wash your bait out. Continue wrapping until you have no more copper and then you're simply going to break the beak off just like that. Now your bait's ready to go. You slide your lure down over the top. That's what your finished bait looks like. And then I have a little extra piece of copper wire here that I like to use to keep the coil tight so you don't get any tangles when it's in the cooler. You know, things are bouncing around on the boat and you need to go and get a bait out. You don't want to reach in there and grab a handful of tangles. But this is what we were pulling today and that's how we do it. We rig our own baits and I think you should too. Are you ready to get hooked up? Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Hoorag. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another one on. Three on, baby. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod, your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing, gear matters. Underwater Fish Light adds a beautiful glow to your water line while attracting fish for both viewing and sporting pleasure. You will be amazed by the amount of life in the waterways behind your home. And if you don't live on the water, Underwater Fish Light has a portable system that's perfect for night fishing and exploring from your boat. See for yourself what lies just below the surface with Underwater Fish Light. Fish guaranteed. Florida Sport Fishing has been proudly presented by Fishity, the maps to plan, the tools to catch, the option to brag. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rugged Shark, technical footwear designed for angling and boating enthusiasts. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Salt Life, ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. What we're doing is a lot of running and gunning today. There's a bird right up here as well, working right up on the edge. We're spending a lot of time running offshore, looking for weed lines, looking for debris, looking for birds. A couple more birds right up here. And I'll tell you, once we find something that really looks fishy, then we pull back the throttles, get the spread out, and really work that area thoroughly. There's so much water to cover to find these summertime schoolies. You really got to focus your efforts on key areas, areas that have that combination of birds, grass, and bait. You get those three together, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, baby! Yeah, he's looking out of here, he comes, Carlos. Work it, work it, work it. He's chasing it, chasing it. This was just absolutely textbook. It really, really was. Just cruising right along this weed line. Saw a nice pack of them. Not huge, but again, fun. Awesome, you got them there, dude. We just landed this one. And it's a nice little schoolie. 
God, I can't get over how pretty they are though. And he almost tried to bite me. <laughs> you do see the, the little teeth they have. I mean, they could pretty much devour everything. Gnarly looking little predators. And these things can swim on one solid burst up over 50 miles an hour. It's pretty crazy. We're gonna put him in the cooler so we can have some fresh dolphin dinner later. Yeah, buddy. Nice. I almost feel tempted to do it, but stick your finger in there. You stick your finger in there. See? Look at those dots. It's like electricity going through their skin. It's crazy. Those little blue dots. Let's go see if we can find some more trouble. I'll tell you what, guys. We have had an absolutely awesome time dolphin fishing. We never found those big gaffers we were looking for, but still, when you come out and catch 40 or 50 dolphin, especially on light tackle, little spinning rods, it's so much fun. We were able to pick through most of them. You know, we released most of them, tagged a bunch, kept a handful, a handful of decent fish for the dinner table, but released the vast majority. There's some more way out there but we've had an absolutely textbook morning. Running and gunning, getting on the structure, on the weed lines, on the debris, throwing some chunks, you know, doing the usual, keeping a couple fish in the water. Then I'll tell you what, it's been on. It's been an absolute ball. He's coming, he's right there in the slick. We're gonna catch a couple more here and get out of here. We'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.